Ooh, the boy has got looking. <laughs> well, I'm leaving. Uh, it's been a great New Year's. Uh, my friend is going to turn 90 years old this week. Leah Chase. I went to go see her yesterday with my cousin. My little cousin Liam sung her happy birthday and she thought it was so sweet. I had to go and tell her how much she really meant to me and how special she is to so many people and to our people and we just don't even know it. But she didn't want anything. She just said, Caesar, I just want you to remember me. And I think that was so sweet. She's been cooking for me since I was a little boy. And I, although I don't look to her as a, uh, I look to her as a special person. I don't look to her like a lot of other people do, the celebrity uh, person. Yeah, she is definitely, most definitely the queen of Creole cuisine. And she's what a lot of people should do. They should look up to her. They should have been inspired by the things that she's done because she's just such a magnificent person. And now I'm going back to Baton Rouge after leaving New Orleans for rest and relaxation and time with my relatives, with my cousins and the people that I love so much. And every time I get a chance, I get to come here and get away from life's stresses and stressors, people drive me crazy sometimes, and I get to rest. Not to party, but I get to rest. I come here to party too, but just to rest. And I did, and I'm so happy I was able to be here for three days uh, and rest myself. I don't know what it is that's in my nose, but it ain't no booger. But anyway, so I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, I'm gonna brace for this drive to Baton Rouge, back to um, working hard. Bye.